Does the intricate beauty of a minaret ever make you wonder about the evolution of Islamic architecture? Ponder on this for a moment. Islamic architecture, a style that is both distinctive and dynamic, has witnessed a myriad of innovations throughout its existence, evolving from simple desert structures to grandiose, ornately decorated edifices. The tale of Islamic architecture begins in the 7th century in the Arabian Peninsula. During this time, mosques were primarily simple enclosures, their designs heavily influenced by the harsh desert environment. The key innovation here was the Qibla wall, a feature that indicated the direction of Mecca, a vital element in Islam's prayer rituals. Fast forward to the 8th and 9th centuries, the Umayyad and Abbasid caliphates respectively. The Umayyads introduced the hypostyle hall, an expansive prayer hall supported by rows of columns. Meanwhile, the Abbasids developed the four Iwan mosque layout, a courtyard surrounded by four vaulted halls or Iwans. This became a staple in Persian and Central Asian architecture. The 10th and 11th centuries brought the Fatimid and Seljuk empires. The Fatimids, ruling from modern-day Egypt, were known for their usage of decorative motifs, such as stylized palm leaves and geometric patterns. On the other hand, the Seljuks, hailing from Iran, introduced the conical dome, an architectural innovation that would become iconic in Islamic architecture. Moving to the 12th and 13th centuries, the Almohad and Mamluk dynasties took center stage. The Almohads from Morocco introduced the ribbed dome, while the Mamluks of Egypt and Syria became known for their intricate stone masonry and mukarnas a three-dimensional decoration of Islamic architecture. The 14th and 15th centuries marked the rise of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans were revolutionary in their architectural designs, creating large-scale complexes with mosques, schools, and hospitals. The most notable innovation was the central dome layout, exemplified in the iconic Hagia Sophia. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Safavid and Mughal empires emerged. The Safavids in Persia, favored colorful tiles and intricate mosaics, while the Mughals in India introduced white marble and semi-precious stone inlay as seen in the breathtaking Taj Mahal. Finally, in the modern era, Islamic architecture has embraced technology while holding on to its traditional roots. Innovations include environmentally responsive designs and the use of cutting-edge materials, all while maintaining the distinct visual language of Islamic art and architecture. To summarize, Islamic architecture has seen a myriad of innovations over the centuries, from the rudimentary Qibla wall to the grand central dome layout of the Ottomans and the intricate stone inlays of the Mughals. It has constantly evolved, adapting to the times while staying true to its roots. Today, it stands as a testament to the rich history and cultural legacy of the Islamic world, a blend of tradition and innovation that continues to inspire and captivate. So next time you marvel at the splendor of a mosque or the intricacy of an Islamic design, remember the centuries of evolution and innovation that have shaped this remarkable architectural style. It's not just a building or a pattern, it's a story of a civilization, a journey through time.